Yo, what's up, baby? It's 40 from Urban Street 420. Today we're making cannabis tea or weed tea, right? Using leftovers. In the last video, what we did is we made Green Dragon a tincture. And after you make it, you have pulp, cannabis pulp or sludge, right? And that's what this is right here, right? So if you check this out, right here, we have the leftovers. And really, what I'm, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up a few of these stems. Obviously, we don't need them. And this thing is fully dry. I put it on parchment paper after we made the, the tincture and putting it on parchment paper for two days. It was bone dry. And now we can use it to make uh, tea. Now, uh, we, you can make tea just with this, huh? And steep this and it's gonna give you a very mellow high, right? It's hard to determine how much THC or CBD is left over in this because the reality is the extraction process takes out quite a bit, but there's still some left over. Are you going to get massively high from this? No. Now, if you replace this with just straight decarbed weed, then you could, huh? So let me talk about some of the other things we have here. So we have organic mint. Well, this is basically dried mint. We have rose hips. Rose hips are the pieces of rose. It smells really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this, the dried cannabis with the mint and the rose hips and bada bing, bada boom. We are gonna mix it to make a nice tea, right? So first, thing, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dump this in here. And like I said, this is optional, right? If you wanted to make this stronger, you can make this easily stronger just by using decarbed weed, right? Potentially, you could skip the decarboxylation, but the reality is whenever you heat up tea, you're heating it at 100 and something degrees Fahrenheit. And that would take a really long time to steep to really extract the cannabinoids, right? Or the THC and the CBD, etc. So we're not doing that. Um, and we're not using decarbed weed, what we're using is our leftovers, right? To make some tea. So I'm just gonna eyeball this, right? I'm gonna open up the mint real quick. All right, try not to have my back to you. I have the smallest kitchen in existence, huh? It's amazing that I could do anything in here. So I'm just going to eye this and based on this amount of cannabis, I'm going to try to put one third of that in mint. Huh? Mint is quite powerful. Something like that, right? Let me show you. So I don't know how well you can see here, but there's, there's quite a bit of mint, but not that much. My guess is about one third. So if you're measuring, that's what I would go for. Ugh. All right, next. We're gonna take the rose hips. These rose hips have quite a strong smell, quite a strong flavor, right? I don't know if you can smell them from there. <laughs> then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that many. <laughs> How many is that? I don't know, again, maybe I'm shooting for like one third by volume or one fourth by, vo by volume. So now if you look at this, this is what we got. And we could just mix this together. It doesn't matter how exactly mixed this is, but now this is our cannabis tea, right? And this is some gourmet shit. <laughs> it's not gonna get you super stoned, but it's gonna give you a little something, something. This is obviously optional. I have this, this is a can for canning, a funnel for canning. I use it for lots of different things, uh, including canning. But, so I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put the funnel in here. And we're just going to put this in here, right? It's not the Rona. <laughs> All right. Not a whole lot, but that's a that's a good amount of tea. What I have here is a tea strainer or a tea, and all I can do or all I have to do is come in here and grab a big chunk, right? No rhyme or reason, come in closer, please. No rhyme or reason exactly how this is gonna go in here. We just want it to close, so I'm messing around with it to make it close. And the reason it needs to close is the whole point of this is so that you don't get, there we go, is so that you don't get the water um, or the, the, the excess tea out of the strainer and into the cup, right? So I'll take some water here. All 
I'm going to throw the water in the microwave for approximately uh, two minutes, I think, would be good for this cup. And after two minutes, I'm going to stop the video right now. We'll come back in two minutes. When this water is warm, we're then going to get it, let it steep for two minutes or three minutes, and boom, we're going to have our tea. I'm going to mix a little bit of honey in there. It's going to be delicious. And again, this is not going to give you a smash buzz, but this is going to chill you out. You're going to feel mellow yellow. It's going to be mighty fine, maybe before you go to the gym or before you maybe do some art or whatever it might be. We'll be back. All right, so we've got five seconds left, yo. It's been two minutes. Ready, set, bop. So two minutes later, the warm water is out. We're just gonna double check. It is a bit warm or quite warm. I'm gonna take the tea strainer. I'm gonna put it inside here. Because of the weight of the metal, it's gonna keep it on the bottom, which is nice. I don't really have to agitate it that much. Of course you can. This is gonna help us steep a little bit. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this for two minutes and we will be right back, right? So it's been a little over three minutes, huh? Let me show you what we've got going on. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but it's definitely, it has changed colors, right? Um, you can smell most of the mint, huh? The mint is super powerful. So even if you want to kick that back a little less than a 30%, maybe 20% maybe would be fine, but it's going to be the overwhelming powerful taste in here. The rose hip is going to give it a little bit of classical sweetness. And if you wanted to, I'm going to go ahead and take this out real quick. Right? Now on the top, I don't know how well you can see this, but some of the herb uh, is so fine that it came through, right? If you are really worried about that, of course, you could skim the top of the spoon, try to get rid of some of this stuff like that. But for me, I'm not worried about it. I don't mind if I drink some of that. What I do have right here, let me spin a classic spin right there. This could be dance class, yo. Anyway, so what I have right here is the spoon. I cleaned it off. I'm gonna take some of this amazing honey there we go. I like my tea with honey. However, there, there is some natural sweetness in here from the rose hips. And I'm going to take about a half a tablespoon of honey, you know, give or take. Looks like a little bit less maybe. But anyways, honey with your tea is always amazing. You can even spritz a little bit of lemon in there. And I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and let's give it a try, right? So the honey should dissolve fairly quick. It's quite warm, this tea. Now again, like I said, there on the top of this there is a little bit. Let's come come here and see if you can see. If I had to pick that up, you see that there is a little bit of the herb in there, right? Not a lot. And if it really bothered you, like I said, you could strain it. I'm not so worried about. It, so let's just take a sip. Huh? Like I said, there's a little bit of herb there. So you're gonna get it if you don't swallow. You're gonna feel it. And you're gonna take it off your tongue. Whatever. Not that big of a deal. And the last time that I made some, not as much came through the strainer. Maybe, yeah, I don't know how it came through so easily. But anyway, ah, this tastes nice, huh? It doesn't taste far off from like a Moroccan mint tea, for example, because of the amount of mint in there. The little bit of rose you can taste. And of course, uh, the marijuana, you can't taste very much. Just a hint, huh? It's covered up by the mint and the... Uh, and the honey, huh? Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. There's no need to throw away your leftover pulp when you make tincture or something else where you'd be left with pulp. You can use it to make tea. It's super, super easy. Anyways, guys, please like, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. Until next time, I'm out.